Okay, so back when I was just a fresh face at Care Market, uh, one of the first things I did was the Pokemon Celebrations unboxing, and being as jammy as I am, I actually managed to open one of the chase cards of the set, the Gold Star Umbreon. So, this was actually gifted to me by Care Market as a kind of welcome to the team kind of thing, so I really cherished that, and I really thought that was a nice gesture, so it's actually one of my favorite cards that I own. Then, when I was doing the script for the launch for the grading uh, platform, I noticed there was a line that said, you can even hand deliver the cards if you wanted to. And this kind of got my brain going and I realized, hey, I'm actually only a couple of hours away from the Elefeld where they do the grading. And it might be fun to do a little excursion out to see how they actually grade cards in the whole process. So that's what I'm here to do today. I'm here going out to this town that apparently does not exist to get one of my favorite cards graded. So hopefully, this will be a nice little fun day out for you and me. Towards the grading center now. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a long journey. Hey, what's happening? Adam, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, we just arrived at the grading centre itself. They even have a lovely little sign at the front indicating the card market grading is done here. It's actually a really nice building. I can't wait to go inside and see exactly what the whole grading process is like and finally get this bad boy graded. Okay. I'm gonna rock up to the offices and they are superb. They're just super, super professional, super, super like amazing, even just to look at from the outside, don't even get me started on the inside. And everybody in there, just as professional. Really looking forward to getting this card professionally graded. So I step into this amazing office and I'm met by one of the founders, uh, Gyog, who walked me through the grading process step by step and showed me exactly how your cards go from arriving at the grading center to being graded and finally being shipped out. We are a team of 10 people with over 150 years experience in TCGs together. We are the only legally certified TCG experts in Germany. If we receive your cards, you, um, we will open the package uh, under camera, so we film every package we open to have a look at it, to uh, see what is inside. Is there that inside what you told us that is inside? So just explain to me real quick. So when you get the thing, the cards in, you record the opening and you record like each card. Why? Because sometimes people uh, buying gradings, like 20, 20 gradings or mm -hmm. 30 gradings, and they sent us 29 or 28 right. cards. Gotcha. Um, or sometimes maybe more. So first things first, I'm brought downstairs and I'm taken to the authentication step where they basically take my card and make sure that it's real based off of a bunch of different criteria. Of the card for the layers, like you see here, you can see that it should be an original card called that is a second layer. Of and the last once layer. that's been verified, it's actually locked away in this safe, the super secure safe that you basically need two keys to open that are kept in two different places at any time. Uh, this safe is bought from a German bank and we are only able to open the safe with two different keys, only so key normally with this. two people. Oh, okay. We need that double confirmation to make sure we can get it. And luckily, because I'm here and we got to do this, rather than waiting the couple of weeks it's currently taking, I managed to get my card sent up to grading straight away. So that was pretty exciting. Um, then we will grade every card, the front and the back, and every four subgrades. So the surface, the centering, the edges, and the corners. They even have like tools to check the centering. Like what a niche to Centering scale. So we can um, put the scale on top of uh, nearly every TCG card. Then we can see uh, from the left to the right side, from the top to the bottom, um, how this card two, is three, centered. Two, it's a 60-40, so it's still a nine. If you got a little, little bit off centered, like 40 to 60%, it's still a graded nine. 
and everything what is more off center, like I don't know, 70 to 30 percent or 80 to 20 percent, is much lower. So yeah, then I got to watch as they use different types of like magnifying glasses and a microscope even to really check the surface quality, the corners to make sure that everything was in like top-notch condition. What we're looking for in a car is every kind of imperfection. Hopefully I didn't squeeze the sides Like uh, rowing on the surface, like frying on the edges and corners, or whitening on the edges and corners. Every of the subgrades takes like 25 percent, so okay. that is uh, exactly the same. Um, only the front side and the back side is different. The, yeah. the back side um, is like 25 percent of the final note, and the front side uh, 75 percent. It makes so, sense, like with the whole, you know, the air being the bit you look at and everything. So it makes we sense are grading here with different uh, microscopes and uh, microscopes and glasses with different zooms on it and the microscopes are projected on a screen so that we can see really every small detail on every car. Luckily, I managed to keep my greasy mitts off the car enough that it managed to get a 9.5, so that was pretty cool and I'm pretty, really, really happy with it. Thank you. So on to the next step, the labeling. Yes. So immediately following the grading portion, uh, I was taken to the labeling section where they print out a label of my card with the subsections and the subgradings on it, as well as the card name, the set it's from, and even the cute little QR code that you can use eventually to check your card on a database to verify if it's real. And I think that's really, really cool. Excellent. So now we have our label, we have our card. I guess the only thing left is to kind of seal it up and officially have it graded. So. I guess that's the next Moving step. on to a process that I didn't necessarily think was going to be super interesting, but ended up being really interesting for me was the actual sealing of the case what exactly that the card is, is kept this in. Big machine for and how do we actually seal the card? This is a ultrasonic welding machine. We are using the welding process and not any glue or anything to protect the card. Um, there is no heat during the welding process. So the card is totally safe. So once your label's put inside and you have your card placed inside your case, you seal it using an ultrasonic sealer. And it basically vibrates at like above 20,000 Hertz, which is really, really fast and melts these kind of plastic wedges inside the case, sealing it permanently. Once it's so, sealed, you can't open it I mean, again. I wouldn't mind seeing this thing in action myself, so if we want to get to the step where it actually seals the card, yeah, I kind of want to see that. That sounds pretty cool. You need two hands to uh, operate the machine. Yeah. So, here we go. That's it. That's so cool. Just like that. So, yep. Sealed, so, just like that. The card is done. That's one of the coolest things I've seen like all week. 9.5. Not a bad grade either, yeah. That's actually pretty good. The last step is to get the order packed. So we put every single case in a bubble wrap bag and the whole order in another three or four layers of bubble wrap. Well, finally got my card. Couldn't really ask for better. It's just been an amazing journey all around. Really glad I decided to come down and actually hand deliver it rather than sending it off because I really got to see the process in detail and I hope this kind of shows you guys just how in depth and like how good the quality of like this grading service has been. It's been pretty interesting as well just from a complete nerd scientific aspect of looking at like the equipment and the machinery. That was also really cool. Um, but yeah, I honestly couldn't ask for better and I guess heading back to Berlin now and I'm just gonna cherish this card forever. Yeah, this is pretty cool. We had this idea of having a, a, your own grading service for, for some time. We're actually thinking about doing it ourselves. That is like hiring the people and running the grading yeah. uh, ourselves. And while we were in this entire discussion and while the project was actually live with us, we were contacted by, by Paul and Georg 
um, and they're saying, hey, we are about to start this grading service. Actually, we have already started this grading service. Is there a possibility that, you, that we can collaborate with you? And I was like, wow, guys. And I mean, you called at the exact right time because I was about to, well, to start this kind of uh, thing. And if you are just starting and need someone to give you a helping hand and we can work together, that would be awesome. So um, that's Nevertheless, when... we had a lot of questions, of course, about their expertise and background. And we wanted to make sure that we uh, went into this yeah. with the right people, right? No, so, no, of course, of course, we did not say, yeah, that's great, uh, here's <laughs> just, our name, please go on and grade the cards. No, we, uh, we, we, we talked with them, we looked at what they were doing, we looked at the, the technology that they are using, and uh, here's something very interesting, because uh, they are a German company, just like a card market is, and uh, as a German company, they have a license as uh, what is called in Germany, Gutachter or Sachverständiger, uh, in English that would, that this would be, uh, an, an, a legal expert or legally, legally uh, uh, accepted expert. So basically, what does this mean? That means that if there is a legal procedure or process or anything happening and someone needs to establish, needs an official document to establish whether a card is real or how much a card is worth, Paul and Georg, the card market grading owners, are allowed to produce this kind of legal document. So basically, if they're writing a paper saying this major card is worth a thousand euro because it is an authentic black bordered underground sea whatsoever, this will be a valid testimony or document and accept it in court. And that's great. That is about uh, the best reference that this kind of company can have because I do not know so far about any other grading company that has this kind of German, very bureaucratic, <laughs> legal thing going on because it's not so easy to get. And it's uh, especially interesting when you look at it for trading cards because a lot of people say that trading cards have a kind of an arbitrary value, right? It's a mere matter of demand and how often something is in print, but we all know that cards indeed do have a value and they increase, they decrease, but having somebody that can actually put, pin down this value and say on paper, it is actually worth this much if you go to an insurance company, to court or whatever legal situation you might find yourself into, having this actual legally backed up value and not just something that the market dictates because that's what we all give the value to this piece of cardboard. Um, is something that we also found re really beneficial when looking at uh, who would do our grading. We at Card Market also obviously see a lot of potentially fake cards shipped to us every day and um, people who aren't sure whether or not what they received is real or what is fake and having an additional service that will allow us to also better identify uh, whether or not a card is indeed authentic is only beneficial for us as a platform and the community using that platform. Finally, we're done. Honestly, a fantastic day out, a really, really informative process, and genuinely just super professional and overall really well done. Can't recommend it more than enough. <laughs>